Amelia Earhart by Brad Meltzer. I am Amelia Earhart. When I was little, people told me that girls should want dresses and play with dolls. And they said we shouldn't be unladylike and have unladylike adventures. But I did not agree. In fact, when I was seven years old, my sister and I decided to build our own roller coaster in our backyard. We placed two planks of wood up against the side of our tool shed. Grandma's not going to like this. In the cab was a wooden packing box with roller skate wheels attached to the bottom. We greased the wood with the lard so we'd move super fast. Amelia, are you sure this is a good idea? This isn't a good idea. It's the best idea. Of course, I got to ride first. This was my moment. Here we go. One, two, three. I still remember the wind in my face. My stomach seemed to sink. I was flying. Don't try that at home. Amelia Earhart, you take it apart at this instant. The crash was loud and noisy and messy. It certainly wasn't ladylike, but it was awesome. It wasn't the last time that I would fly. As I got older, I went to many air shows. And when I was 23 years old, but still a kid at heart, my dad took me to meet Frank Hawks, a man who would eventually set many of his own flight records. For $10, Hawks agreed to take me up on my very first flight. For 10 minutes, we flew through the sky, not over the Pacific Ocean. By the time I was two or 300 feet off the ground, I knew one thing, I had to fly. To save for my flying lessons, I worked as a truck driver, which wasn't ladylike either. Move it, Mac, she says. A stenographer, and a stenographer, which is a fancy schmancy word for someone who writes down what people says. And even a photographer. Say snook, she says. Six months after I learned to fly, I bought a bright yellow used biplane that I named Canary. Canary is a cool name for a plane, right? This is my instructor, a woman named Netta Snook. That's her real name. But here's my secret. It, I wasn't a natural. I wasn't the best pilot. I just worked harder than everyone else. That's enough flying for today. No. I can do better. One more flight. Most important... Like that day on the roller coaster, I dared to do what so many said couldn't be done. A girl flying across the Atlantic, Amelia. You sure this is a good idea? This isn't a good idea. It's the best idea. I became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. And then the first woman to fly myself across the Atlantic. But then, back then, people took boats to get to Europe, sailing for weeks. Planes were still a new thing. In fact, on the day I took off, one magazine ran an article that said women would never be able to fly that far. But I did.
to do it I had to fly for 14 hours and 56 minutes with no rest no break sometimes the sun was so blinding I could barely see where I was going this is awesome and the process I also broke the speed record for crossing the ocean in the shortest time faster than any woman or man ever then I broke the altitude record which is just a fancy smancy way of saying higher than anyone else how high did I go about 12 Empire State Buildings straight up at a time when no woman had ever gone that high and she says in October 1922 I broke the woman's altitude record by rising to 14,000 feet and in July 1930 I set a speed record of over 181 miles per hour in my life I took many flights every single time there was someone who said I couldn't do it and wouldn't be able to do it. Never let anyone stop you. Whatever your dream is, chase it. Work hard for it. You'll find it. it's the best lesson I can give you. I am Amelia Earhart. I know no bounds, and I hope you'll remember the greatest flight you'll ever take is the one no one has tried before. Never interrupt some, someone doing what you said couldn't be done. Amelia Earhart. That's what she actually looked like. There's her plane. The end.